Hi there, my name is Luke, and in this video we're going to talk about immigration questions. That means, what might the immigration officer ask you when you arrive in another country, when you travel abroad? And how do you answer those questions? Let's get started. You've got your arrival card, it's been filled out. You've got your passport, you've got your visa in your passport. You step up here in the yellow line. The person who's there, the officer, immigration officer, says, Next! Okay, you step forward, and then he or she might say, Passport and arrival card, please. Now, when you want to give something to someone else, you should say, Here you are, or here you go. Here you are, here you go. Sometimes we say, here it is. We'll talk about that in a moment. So here you are, here you go. Maybe they'll ask you to look into the camera. Please look into the camera. Not every country does that. Not every port of arrival does that, but you may need to take a picture. So they'll say, please face the camera or please turn to the camera. Or they might say, please place your thumb on the fingerprint reader. Thumb, place it on the fingerprint reader. And if you want to say yes, if you want to say something, you can say, okay, sure, okay, or sure. Next, they might ask you a couple of questions. So what questions? Number one, what is the purpose of your visit? For this one, you don't want to say too much. You can say visiting family, visiting friends, tourism, business, whatever it may be, Generally, keep it simple unless they ask some follow-up questions. So if you say business, they might say, what kind of business? Then you could say, I'm attending a three-day conference in Las Vegas. I have a flight from here to Las Vegas. And then after the conference, I'm going to travel to another city to visit a friend. If it's visiting friends, then you would maybe have to say, I'm going to be staying with my friend in Chicago for three weeks or I'm going to stay with my friend in Chicago for a week, then I'm going to go to Seattle, and I'm going to go to San Francisco. What is your friend's address in Chicago? Or what is the address of your hotel in Las Vegas? What is the address? Now you should have probably written that down on the arrival card, but sometimes they will ask this question, or maybe you forgot to write it down, so they might need to ask you. If they ask you that, you have it on your phone, you might show them your phone and say, here it is. Or you have it on a piece of paper, you might say, here you go, or here it is. Or if you really don't have it written down anywhere, you might have to tell them, oh, it's blah, blah, blah. If you don't know, you can say, I'm sorry, I forgot to write it down. If you know the name of the hotel, you could say, I'm staying at the Marriott Hotel in Las Vegas, but I can't remember the address and I forgot to write it down. They'll say, okay, probably. Or they might say, go back to your country. No, they won't say that. How long do you plan to stay in the United States? How long? Then you can just say the length of time. You can say, I'm leaving on the 19th, or I'm staying for three weeks and leaving on the 19th. But then they might ask, do you have a return ticket? So you could say, yes, here's the itinerary. So then you can show them that you have a confirmation from that airline that you have booked a flight. Yes, I have booked a return ticket. Or, yes, I booked a ticket out to another country. I've booked another ticket to maybe, whatever, Germany or Canada or anything. What is your profession? That means, what is your job? What do you do? Now, if you're a student, then you don't have a profession, but you can say, I'm a student. I'm a student, and I'm just visiting my friend in Chicago. If they say, what is your profession? And you have a job, you should say, your job, I'm a doctor, I'm a teacher, I'm a, an engineer, whatever it is. Then you might have to give more detail about it, but hopefully not. Do you have any other acquaintances in the United States? That means, do you know anyone else in the United States? So if they ask you this and you don't, just say, nope, or no, or I don't. If you do, you could say, yes, I have a friend who lives in Florida. Then you can say, but I'm not going to be visiting her. Or they'll ask you, are you going to visit your friend in Florida? No, I'm not. Or yes, I am. I am planning to visit my friend in Florida. Do you plan to work during your stay? Are you planning to work while you're here? 
Now this is a silly question, right? But it is pretty common. If you're on a tourist visa and you have no plan to work, you should just clearly say no. No. Do you plan to work? No, I don't. Are you planning to work? No, I'm not. I'm not. If you're on a business trip, it's a little different. You could say, well, I will be attending meetings and attending the conference in Las Vegas. You can say what you'll be doing at the conference, but you're not going to be working in the same way. And those really are the questions that they might ask you. Other questions are really uncommon. Uh, in fact, some of the questions I mentioned are uncommon. So if you fill out your arrival card carefully, then you shouldn't need to answer too many questions. And they may just ask you something simple like what's the purpose of your visit? How long are you going to stay here? What is the duration of your trip? Or maybe do you plan to work while you're here in the United States or whatever country you may be going to? <laughs> I one time was able to go into the country without a visa to go to the ATM to get money to pay for the visa. I won't mention the country. I don't want to slam it, but I said, oh, I don't have US dollars. I thought I could use the local currency to pay for the visa on arrival. Visa on arrival means you get the visa when you arrive. They said, no, you have to use US dollars. So I said, okay, uh, how do I get US dollars? They said, oh, you need to go to the ATM at the bank. I said, how do I go to the bank? And they said, oh, you you can go in just go in and come back <laughs> so I did I went in I got money and then I exchanged it for US dollars then I came back and I said hey I'm back and they said oh great and then I paid for my visa and <laughs> they let me go in the country without a visa very strange very interesting okay guys well hopefully you found this video useful especially if you're going to be visiting other countries in the near future. Remember, these questions are pretty simple and the answers are pretty simple too. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.